on you. Like, you haven't had anything until you've gotten thermochemistry. Bro, okay, you might be on thermochemistry, all right? But I'm telling you, until you have to memorize every single muscle, every single bone in the body, Wait, 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 right? wait, wait, wait. they're right there. Oh, welcome oh. To back to the channel. I'm Daniel. I'm a pre-med student at Loyola. I'm a first year like Ryan. I'm also a freshman at Loyola, uh, but I'm in the nursing program. We're here today to talk a little bit about the differences between pre-med and nursing school. I guess like the first thing would be maybe like admissions. Like admissions. I think for nursing school, it's a direct admit program for Loyola. Right. But I guess that's not like relevant to everybody's nursing program. Um, um, for me, I applied as a biology major um, because I know Loyola has a very strong pre-health program in general. Um, but since pre-med isn't a declared major, you could pretty much pick any major and if you declare yourself pre-med, you'll get a specific set of classes that you'll need to take in order to graduate with the qualifications for med school. I guess pre-med is usually four years, although you could do... There's some like programs where you could get an accelerated doctorate, but those are very competitive. Yeah, um, and of course you have to do another four years after that in medical school. In medical school. But so. I guess we're talking about pre-med though, but still right. you have to keep that in mind. Yes, lots of school if you want to do pre-med. Like you just hit the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, so it's nice that, I guess it's like one benefit if you are if you want to be in a healthcare field and you don't want that much schooling, four years and you're done for nursing school. Both majors have an ending kind of Test. So like you have the MCAT to get okay. into medical school uh, and I have the NCLEX which is just the test to see if you know all the information to be a qualified nurse. Um, do you know anything about the MCAT? Um, I know that it's like seven hours long so you really got to want it and this is why we've seen, I mean I've seen some of my fellow pre-meds already drop out already and become business majors. Um, as far as I know I'm sticking with it but still a first semester freshman so, but we'll see but right now the plan is to keep going. Dang, I mean, I don't think the NCLEX is that long. I'm yeah. pretty sure the NCLEX is like maybe an hour or two, I think. Yeah. So, classes then, what classes are you taking? So, I'm enrolled in Bio 101, um, Bio Lab 101, so those are both the general labs. I'm in Chem 101 and Chem Lab, uh, which are all online. And then, as far as core goes, I'm in Philosophy, Univ, and I'm also in Applied Calculus 131. Oh dang, okay, yeah. Calculus. Yeah. I also take chemistry, but it's um, chemistry for nursing. Uh, it's called Chemistry for Health Professions, and it's, I think it's a, I think it's a bit less hard. I think it's not as hard as you guys' is, um, because you guys need to know more chemistry for the, for the MCAT. Right? right, but you're in anatomy and I'm not. Right, but the thing is I have anatomy and anatomy lab, which is just a, so much memorization, it's just an incredible amount. Like I said in the beginning, you have to like memorize every muscle, every bone, all the different kinds of tissues, um, and it's just a lot to go over. What's like the hardest class that you have right now? For me, it's probably chemistry right now, just because there's a lot of material to cover, and it was a class that I took as a freshman. Um, I actually was in AP Bio, but I got a three on the AP exam, so hence retaking it now. Uh, but if you're looking to be pre-med as a freshman, you're going to be taking a lot of those general classes, um, and then you le they level up as you go on. So, so far for me, it hasn't been maybe as um, study heavy as for Ryan, but that's again, that's going to be hitting me in med school, and he's out once he's, once he's done with the four years. True. So I guess maybe they're packing in a little bit more into my yeah, four years. for sure. Probably, definitely. Yeah. Um, my hardest class is probably anatomy, just because there's so much information shoved at you at one time. What do you think like, your overall stress level is? I would say it's not too bad so far. I would put it at like a six out of 10. In some ways it's less than high school. Now, if you're pre-med, again, you're gonna be taking a lot of review just to get your core credits out the way. Um, maybe not so much as if you were nursing, but in the coming years, you're gonna take classes like organic chemistry that are going to kill you. Um, and also the labs for me right now are all online. So yeah, you can sucks. you can take them again and again for me for chemistry until you get a good score on them. So in some ways, like you might not feel like you're learning as much, but in terms of your grade, being online actually might make it a little bit easier. I think stress level for me, I think it depends. I think a lot of because like the studying's up to you and like your time management is completely up to you. Um, 
I think if you space out your studying, maybe the stress will be like a six. But I think if like a lot of students uh, or a lot of like nursing students in my in my major, uh, if they don't study like spread out and they wait until like the end of uh, right before the exam. Yeah. So like your first couple weeks might not be that stressful, it might be like a four or something because you're just trying to get down some concepts. But then like the week before an exam, um, it could go up to an eight or a nine because it just because you just did not study very well to begin with. What should an incoming freshman know if they're going into pre-med? Well, they should be ready to take academics very seriously because to get into med school, you have to be the top of the top. Um, we're talking 5% lower acceptance rates. Uh, for Loyola's med school, Stritch, I think it's like 3.8% of people get accepted. Oh, wow. So you need to be on top of your studies. Um, otherwise, you're going to be end up being like a business major or something, which is fine, but it's not what we're talking about here in this video. So you need to be on top of it. Ryan, how about what should people know going into nursing school? Um, I think going into a nursing major, you do have to have like a little bit more like certainty of what you want to do just because um, like once those four years are done, like you have to take the NCLEX, then you're a nurse, but there's not, there's not really much like a uh, transfer of like your credits because they're basically all just like nursing credits. Um, I think it's a be like memorization oriented and also very empathetic because at the end of the day you will be um, next to these patients you will be taking care of them so and I know like obviously like doctors like you have to be empathetic as well for sure but I think nurses have more of like the personal care that doctors mm -hmm. maybe don't have as much time to do yeah and another thing Ryan was talking about was the transferability um, if you're pre-med you've got a lot of flexibility probably much more so than nursing school um, I've heard of people who are like French majors and they ended up being pre-med. I'm pretty conventional, I'm a bio major, um, but you'll see like lots of different people with different majors um, that might end up being pre-med. I didn't forget what the question was. Um, how did we decide to get into what we want to do? Right. Um, I had a couple medical procedures. I had a heart surgery, I had two heart surgeries, um, and that was a very stressful experience. But through that, I got to see how nurses um, like worked and like how empathetic they were, just how um, they were the ones that took care of me. And like, yes, the doctor, like they, they knew more, they knew their shit, but nurses were the ones that, that were gonna be there and they were gonna care for you. Um, so I really liked that and I wanted to end up being that for somebody else. Um, and I just really liked the hospital setting. Yeah, for me, very similar. Uh, my brother was diagnosed with type one diabetes when I was a freshman in high school. And I just remember um, seeing him in the hospital and how the doctors and nurses brought him back. That was um, something, just a reason. One of the things that made me consider going into the medical field and why I have applied as a bio major and as pre-med so far. It's a really fulfilling job and you can really get something out of it if you work hard. I also really think that if you don't want to spend more than four years in school but still want to go into the health profession, I think nursing is ideal. Um, if you're willing to put in the work because you want that like top level, you want to be the top man, like if you have that per perfectionist uh, personality um, or you're like an extrovert maybe. Or I would say so. Maybe like pre-med is the way to go. But if you want more, uh, just four years and then you're, you're in a good position to work in the healthcare field, um, nursing is probably more for you. They're both great options and they're both going to take a lot of hard work. Um, but we're putting it in and we think you can do it too, so good luck.